like to continue this meeting and try and finish the proposal, I'm willing to step in as facilitator unless either of these two would like to do that. Otherwise, we will end the meeting if that's what we want to do. I would just propose, since Graham's still sort of in the middle of a proposal, um, in the event that GA would not like to end the meeting, I, I could step in as moderator. Beautiful. I'll take staff. Is there any objections to me stepping in as moderator? I think we need a new temp check because I have to go. I'm sorry. And I will do temp check. Um, Alan volunteers to do temp check. Is there any objection to that? How about uh, temp check going to continuing the general assembly? That's what we're about to okay. get to. Okay. Right, very good. Um, Yes. There is a block, and I believe the person who has the block has something to say. Of course. Our, our moderator just stepped down. Okay. <laughs> we need to address that. Because we're, the moderator's part of the facilitation team, and we need a full facilitation team to get this thing back on track. Um, if GA is to continue, <coughs> we will address that. Um, Harry has volunteered to take staff. Is there any objection to that? Okay. So I'll be moderating. I will be temp check, which is very important right now. Uh, if you feel like you can't speak, you can talk to him. And here we're taking staff. Um, how do we feel about hearing the from the person who was blocking before moving on? Yes. Any opposed to that? That's what we do. There is. I. I understand um, there was one dissent, but we're going to go ahead and hear from that person. All right, Chris. Um, I mean, can we just vote? I just want to vote instead of just being the mean. Can we just get to it? End the stat. Just get to the vote on Grant's proposal. So there's a motion to move to vote on Grant's proposal. Um, I believe there was also a motion from our previous moderator to NGA because this has gotten pretty. Not, you know, wild tonight. Um, I want to know. I've seen that. Okay. Um, so there's a mo Do we want to just move to voting on Graham's proposal? Tip check. Any objections? All right. There's a clarifying question. Can you repeat? Can he actually repeat the proposal because it's been amended a few times? So I'm not sure what it actually is. Sure. To know if I want to temp check. Okay, that, we're good with that. Graham, would you please restate the proposal with the amendments? I'd like to make this two proposals, um, just so that we can keep it separate and clear. The first is to set a precedent and an interim proposal, preparing so that tonight we can have something in place, but we'll go to a threshing session to develop a full procedure for how to deal with threatened or real violence in a normal event of this nature. The precedent and the interim procedure set would be to ask the person to leave immediately for that EA uh, or that event. And as a result, we would ask the, the person who threatened violence tonight to do that at this event tonight. Uh, that's the first proposal I'd like to put on. Are there any clarifying questions about that, that? proposal? Yes. Um, I saw a clarifying question there first. What is the signal to use? Oh, that's your command to use. Yeah. I want to make a comment. Clarifying <laughs> uh, comment? Question? We're, that sounds like a comment to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to hear from Rich first because he has a clarifying question. It should be clarifying details in this proposal. What would be the method uh, of determining the nature of the threat? I'm not sure I understand. Can you clarify your question? <laughs> I'm going to yield to the gentleman over here. Do you have a point of information? I'd rather not say what he said because I don't want to. Do um, y'all think there's any bias in what I said? Okay, would you be willing to repeat what he said? Or clarify um, it if need be? I, I think the question was how we determine a threat of violence was made. I can address tonight's threat of violence if you need me to do so. But that doesn't actually answer the question of, of how to determine if a threat was made. Uh, although I will say one of the simplest ways to do it 
is to have someone make an allegation. However, I, I will add that that's sometimes incredibly uncomfortable. So we will have to have some process for an allegation to be made. We have a point of process. I think all of that can be determined during a threshing session, but for tonight, um, I propose that we vote on Graham's proposal. How about this guy? Okay. Um, is my understanding, I'm sorry I've been distracted a little bit, I um, haven't fully caught everything that was just said. It's my understanding that we are about to vote on Grant's proposal. Um, we're answering clarifying questions towards that proposal. We have two people in the stack waiting to speak. We're still addressing the first clarifying question with lots of these. Um, so I'd like to hear the second clarifying question now. And if there's any more after that, We'll, we'll hear those. I, I think it would be um, unfortunate to use it retroactively, although I understand the uh, desire to have something set right. We've wasted an hour, and we really haven't gone anywhere yet. Uh, but I still think it would not be right to say, well, from this time forward, we're going to do it. I think we should draw the line now. But really, I think we should draw the line at the process. When you go outside the process, you leave room for everything else. We've got to draw the line at the process. Forget violence. We should never get to that point. Mm -hmm. We should be throwing them out when they just refuse to accept a group said no or whatever. That, that's the second part of my proposal, so I'd like to address that tonight. But I think I'm not certain that can be passed tonight. It may require threshing. As a result, I'd like to make sure something in reference to violence does pass because that's the most pressing of them. Yeah. Uh, so, point of information from the scribe. Um, who has the language of the proposal, uh, as he has described. There's nothing in the proposal that addresses disrupt disruptive behavior, just violence. Or threatening, correct? Violence. Or threatening threats of violence. Um, correct? Right. And perhaps to answer, Rich, maybe Rich has more of a question. Yeah, I mean, I was going to clarify my clarification is that are we depending, uh, are we considering one one's person deter one person's determination of whether or not this was a severe threat of violence? I, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to take a stand on that, actually. So, and I'm going to do, I, I uh, well, my greatest experience is dealing with, with sexual assault survivors. I did a lot of work in college around this, and the statistics with sexual assault are that like 98 to 99 percent of alleged, you know, of, of, of sexual assault that is, I don't know what's the right term, that is alleged, thank you, that is alleged, is <coughs> definitely took place, and false accusations almost never, ever happen, but people almost never get prosecuted, regardless, which is really ridiculous. Um, I'm going to take the stand and say that if somebody's willing to stand up and say, I feel really unsafe, I feel like somebody is threatening me in a way that makes me feel really unsafe, that, you know, and they're willing to bring that to the GA, that, you know, we need to address that, and somebody can leave. I mean, I, I'm very willing to let a threshing session figure out all the details and change that, but for the for tonight, that's what I think is, and that's, I guess, what, yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Um, I saw two more hands go up. Um, I, I see one right now. I don't see the other. Um, is it a clarifying question towards the proposal? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? I would like to know what am I supposed to do when I've heard individuals in this organization physically threaten Chris? Do we go down and take out a warrant against these individuals? Do we take out a warrant for the crap that was put on the internet, the lies? There are a lot of things we can do. When I tell Chris, when I heard Phil say that thing to him in the park on two different occasions, he ought to break it in half, yeah, that, and then he sent this email out to Mark, lying about something that happened at the Occupy the Hood. What am I supposed to do? Am I, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell the truth what I heard individuals say to Chris when I saw Phil run Chris down in the park like a bull. I'm not going to just stand by and see these individuals do these things. What am I supposed to do? Keep second, this to myself? Second, please. Um, please what? This, I see a lot of points of process in the room, and I think it's because this is not a clarifying question. All right. It, it, 
it's very important and should probably be discussed with certain individuals or at, at, with a caring group after GA, but this is, right now we're asking questions specifically yeah, about this proposal. The only one is <laughs> I mean, I would say in reference to the proposal that we have, we have a process in place, so if, if it happens, then people get, get ejected. You know, but do you still can ask me, you're going to discriminate and always pick the same people? Or are you going to let this, these sacks of S sit in yeah. here and do what they want to do? Teddy, I'm, the re church. Teddy, I'm really sorry to cut you off right, right now, but this is turning into side right. conversation. There's other people who well, have I questions, I believe. Be fair. Okay. Thank you. Um, Greg. Okay. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but. As I understand it, your proposal was entirely only for this incident, and later we will get into an actual process. And I do <coughs> need this conversation, like, for this. Uh, is that correct about your proposal? Well, it would be, I mean, it's an interim process, so it, it, we, we have to have something, and it does set a precedent, so you do you need to, like, be aware of that. But yes, it could be changed. Like the assumption is that it would be changed if at all need be, because there would be a threshing group that would put it to immediately start to address it. We we have a point of information. I'd just like to point out that it is actually harder to change something because we need ninety percent modified consensus to change something. Unless it's in a small point of information. Um, what is this? Um, I'd like to continue taking clarifying questions specifically towards this proposal in the hopes that we can move to a vote. Or do people feel okay about that? I see some, I see some uh, moving along. I see some... Alright, uh, Megan with a clarifying question. Uh, good. How do you feel about, is there anyone opposed to going to a vote on Grant's proposal right now? Could you restate it? Yeah, the proposal. Please, Graham. Sim yeah, simply because there's some concerns, I'm going to try and keep this as simple <coughs> as possible. We're going to simp the vote is simply going to be not even to set like an interim process. Let's just start with what what the heck are we going to do tonight, and then we'll talk about an interim process and see if we can get that passed, and then we'll talk about the other thing. Um, can you say the proposal as it is? The proposal would be to ask anybody who threatens violence to leave. <laughs> for tonight? For, for tonight. So first, from my understanding, we're going to first vote on that for tonight, and then we're going to take a separate second vote to see if this is going to be an interim process until something else is established. Is that correct? Yep. All right. So first, we're going to move this to a vote. Um, all in favor of Graham's proposal for tonight? I, I so I'm sorry. I, I'm as frustrated as everybody else is, but what you stated is not the full extent of your proposal as it was brought forth. There's what about the uh, uh, immediate vote to eject responsible individuals for three GAs? Is that still on the table? I never saw that's not, the. That's the afterwards, that's the interim. That's the interim. No, and that that's actually cool. that has been amended since, too. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I, it, it's not clear when the state of something changes. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I, this is business that we have to attend to. If I don't have minutes here, you can't read about what I'm sensed on with it. So, okay, so the proposal is tonight to ask anyone who threatens violence on any member of our community to leave the GA. That's it, it's simple. Um, we have a clarifying question. Is that worth reminding? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is in reference to tonight. Yeah. So that, that would be in regards to tonight's General Assembly. All right. All right. Um, can we move to a vote? All in favor? Please twinkle and sparkle like the wonderful human beings you are. And then all opposed, please. Oh, there's one opposition. 
Okay, uh, that passes. Um, now, I, I believe what I heard is that we are going to open to another vote to establish an interim process until the threshing sessions have come to a conclusion on how to handle these things that they'll bring back. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, there's a point of process. Are you going to act on that thing that was just passed? Yeah. Um, I, 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 I believe that that has already acted upon itself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Graham, would you like to restate your proposal as an interim process for our group to vote on? So, an interim process waiting for a threshing, a threshing session to convene that says that at any point in any in a GA or in either official function, if someone threatens violence on somebody else and it's brought to the attention of the GA, the GA will immediately ask, well, will ask the person to leave. We'll take a vote and ask the person to leave. Uh, uh, before we take clarifying questions, I'd like to see if the scribe has gotten that language. No, I, I, it's the only uh, uh, essential difference that the vote has taken. Is that what's different between the last proposal and this one? I'm just unclear. It sounds a lot uh, like the last proposal. The, the difference between this proposal and the last is, is that this, the last proposal was a one-time thing. We had to figure out what to do tonight. Uh, this proposal is what we will do until a threshing session yields another process. But he brings a good point that the first one didn't reference a vote. Um, that's... Sorry, I thought that the, lab, the, the proposal that you last read before we started talking had this conversation. Anybody who threatens violence on our community has to leave the GA. Right. With the word tonight. Yeah. Oh, tonight. that's right. Tonight, yeah. If, Sorry, guys. Uh, um, what, I've, what I've heard is that the first proposal lacked something. However, it did pass. And I believe that that would make it up to the GA how to determine ejecting, how we eject someone if they do threaten violence. Um, this proposal has it in it. Uh, there, it looked like there are a couple other clarifying questions. Um, after taking some clarifying questions, um, I, I would suggest, if, if everyone here is okay with it, that Graham restate his proposal with having amended it in his mind after hearing your questions and, and move to a vote. Anyone opposed to proceeding like that? Okay, clarifying questions please with Greg first. Uh, can we set an expiration date since this is supposed to be an interim? Um, set an expiration date for On the the uh, process, this process. So that when the threshing session does come, that just in case there it falls somehow. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. so you're asking if the expiration date can be when the threshing session is coming. Yes, I will. I guess another way. Yeah, I Set a deadline. Yeah. Okay. Um, Graham, did you hear that? And would you like to accept or decline? Second thing, or was it your phrase? Mm -hmm. Was it your your amendment? Yeah. Right? yeah, that was. That would be an amendment. What was the, did you say a time frame? I did not make a time frame. I just okay. would like to ask if okay. three GAs. Three GAs? That's my suggestion. So, <coughs> proposer, you, you've heard the request for that civil amendment and are taking it into yeah. account? Yes. All right, are there any more clarifying questions? There are no more <coughs> clarifying questions. Um, I'd like to move to uh, vote on this uh, with Graham restating his proposal with that amendment. Yeah, there's 20 people, 20, sorry, 21. 22? Perhaps I didn't count Graham. I didn't count Graham more so. <clears throat> uh, I think Graham is getting ready to restate his proposal. Twenty one. So sure. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm personally of the opinion that, and I get the idea that, that you know, you set a precedent or something and it makes it harder to change, but this is such a big deal. I just, I think, it, I feel ridiculous putting an expiration date on a violence policy, but I'm going to do it anyways just because there are concerns. So the language that I'm proposing is if threats of violence or violence take place in an official ORBA event that <coughs> are brought to the brought to the GA, the person making such a threat will be asked to leave immediately. It's really simple. It expires February 15th, which is one month from now. Um, we have a clarifying question. Uh, what will happen to the voting on it? I personally don't actually, I mean, if somebody wants to amend, like, I don't know. I don't think we need to vote. I think if somebody stands up and says, I've been threatened, the moderator can throw the person out of the room. That's what I think. I need to step down. Okay. Uh, can yes. someone take my place? I need to step down. Uh, the stacker's stepping down. Um, if someone would like to step up and to stack, I that's fine. And fine. that's, and that's I think, what... I also think we can handle it, especially with the... Sure. If that's okay with everyone. And that's, you know, that's a good reason there's an expiration date in there. If it's a really terrible problem, it won't be a problem after a month. All right, we have two more clarifying questions. Three more clarifying questions. Teddy, Rich, and Harry, and, and Nicole. I wanted to know if this proposal will be retroactive, because there have been things that happened right here in this church a couple of weeks ago, when, and what are the words for a threat? Now, if someone says to you when you're standing up talking, giving a proposal, and they start running along, and then they sit over there and holler, sit the F down, sit your F and A down, to me, that is a threat too. So, what words do we consider as a threat? As it doesn't matter who it's coming from, because it seems like the organization is protecting other people that have done the same thing. Nothing was done to them. Nothing was said. What about that? All right. I've heard two questions. Graham, would you like to answer them? One was, uh, is this retroactive? And the second question was, um, are we, is there going to be a process of defining what a threat is in this proposal? So this proposal certainly could be retroactive, but it doesn't actually matter that much because it's asking that person, the simple policy now is that it asks the person to leave the event immediately. So it doesn't, it doesn't actually have any power beyond that. That would be something that the threshing session would need to figure out. Okay. And, and then the, the concerns about how we define a threat. Uh, a threat. I, I think that if somebody feels threatened, if somebody feels unsafe, they can bring it up. So if somebody says, sit your ass down and you feel unsafe, sure, you can bring it up. All right. All right. Um, I, I saw a couple more clarifying questions. Um, Rich, Harry, then Nicole, and Philip. Uh, <clears throat> Questions I have are regarding the process that takes place once this threat is presented to uh, the facilitation team and the General Assembly. Is there some kind of trial type of thing? What it's just, what what exactly happens? I'm, I I personally don't think um, it matters. Okay, can I address that? Yeah, yes. I don't think it matters that much because it's one day. Like we need to have a much better process, but we're not trying to get to that process tonight. At this point, for a month's time, all that happens is if somebody feels threatened, they bring it to the moderator, the moderator says, you've got to leave. That's it. Simple. So any one person can feel threatened, and the person they're feeling threatened by is gone. I mean, the person would have to have to actively say something to the person that was threatening, right? I can't just point at you, Rich, and say, I mean, that clearly isn't going to fly. If I point at you, Rich, and say, you threatened me by, you know, like, you're over there, we've never talked during the day, like... <clears throat> yeah, we, we've got a few clarifying questions. Um, I, I'd also just, if, it's, if I may briefly respond to that. 
Is anyone opposed to that? Um, I'd like to remind the, uh, people that the process for voting how we um, you know, ask somebody to leave was not in the last proposal either. It is an important issue. Um, though, I, I, honestly, I've just lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to ask if we can just hear these, the last of these clarifying questions. Um, sorry, I did have a really good bit of something to share with you, but I lost it in the buzz. Um, Harry, um, Nicole, Philip, Megan, and then, and then Teddy, and I'd really like to ask you all to, uh, if we could close this stack of clarifying questions and everyone think about the space and time they're occupying in this conversation. Harry, please. All right. Very simple question. Uh, are you saying that facilitation will have the right to re uh, request removal after someone has presented the allegation of, of uh, information? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Nicole? All right, so I have several issues with immediately asking someone to, um, to leave, first of all, because we don't have a clear definition of what a threat is because I can, you know, say, you know, your shoes are so ugly, it makes me want to slap you in your face, but I'm not going to, like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, like, like, and say that's, you know, and, and, and maybe in a joking manner and, and say, like, you know, that's grounds to leave or saying because this conversation is getting so heightened, I feel threatened by everyone in the room, but I want you all to leave, but I don't want to sit in this place right now. <laughs> like seriously, because it's it's it, 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 and it and I think it should be taken up to a vote because then you get into a point where we're in a we're in a witch hunt, you know. You're you're trying because someone's doing something wrong that I don't really like right now, and you know finding a solution by just ejecting the person personally is something I'm willing to to to, to block because the definition of that is really just. Uh, I need a clear, concise de definition of that before I, I feel that someone needs to leave the movement. All right. Um, we have a couple more questions, and then I would really like to. We have a point of information as well. Um, we're going to hear the two questions first. Well, I don't just, know which one I would one like I'm to get a legal definition of, of, of a threat, it might help. Uh, is anyone opposed to hearing the legal definition of a threat? Bob? Okay, so in other words, it's assault, and uh, to commit assault, there needs to be a threat of bodily injury. Um, is there any, Graham, would you be open to amending your proposal to define threat under Bobby's take on the legal definition of a threat? as she just stated. Sure. Okay. Um, the, does that answer your question, Nicole? Yes and no. I just, I just really didn't feel that it should be put to a vote. Okay. That's all. It really should be put to a vote. Maybe threat intimidation. Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hear the we have a point of information. I'm sorry, I think, I think this may be an opinion. You can skip. <laughs> okay, I have two questions in the back, and then we're going to vote on this. Uh, my question is how we deal with uh, belligerence and somebody we has to leave. I don't think that's something that can be answered without spending another few hours here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Teddy? Yeah, I wanted to um, talk about the definition of threat also because I'm a second year law student. But if an individual says something to you to threaten you physically or mentally and then they turn around and walk away, the threat is gone. The law books clearly say that. If an individual stands up to rob you with a gun and decides not to rob, he turns around and walks away, you can't go get your gun and shoot him in the back of the head because he said he was going to do something. And it's not that easy to prove a threat. 
So I want you all to know that if I threaten all of you in here and then I turn around and walk away and somebody say, I'm going to kill her and they shoot me, guess what? They're going to jail because I was leaving the scene. And we need to be careful. If you all are this upset about what you think he's doing, threatening you now, what you think the city of Richmond is going to do to you? What you think the police department is going to do to you? We're going to be threatened a lot, get used to it. Before I ran into you guys, I was threatened almost every week. But you know what? I serve the higher power. I don't worry about that. You all worry about this little petty stuff? We need to work together and stop discriminating. We need, if there's one is doing it and another is doing it, they all need to be called out. And I have not heard one of you tonight say, well, you're right, Ms. Perm. If he did it last week, she did it this week, then they all need to go. We should not have favorites in here. This is about business, and it's time to get this well or machine chugging. We got too much business to take care of for this petty nonsense. And the individuals that do that thing to Chris, remember, what goes around comes around. And we know what happened at the Canal Plaza, when we called the police for that argument, they locked everybody up. So you don't want to call the police. You want to settle this among ourselves as adults. Chairman Chet, I feel the need to intervene. Alan, on a check basis. Before you do, um, there there is a point of process in the air. I didn't realize you were temp check. The rest of the facilitation team would like the temp check to step in for a moment. Is the temperatures not doing so great? So <laughs> you're right, Teddy. It goes round and round and round and round and round. I have responded to situations in the beginning. Unfairness. I have issues with Chris, but when he's right, he's right. I believe that we need. To all relax a little bit right here and now and trust that through this process of distress it goes around mm -hmm. and it goes around mm -hmm. and it's, it's a way for mm -hmm. this is not the first time mm -hmm. this won't be the last time mm -hmm. I have to tell you what the Occupy the Road young man told me he said this is an awesome GA. <laughs> this is an awesome GA. That you guys are able to deal with this kind of stuff. And on top of it, y'all kicked ass and got stuff done. Wow, look at the stuff you did earlier. And I wish I could, and I will, carry what I saw here tonight and tell them about how you deal with your stuff. This isn't easy. Everyone breathe. Just let the roots of the solution let the germinating. There's germination happening here tonight, folks. There's germination going on in this room. This has been something that a seed that's been planted in our midst that we all contributed to. Me too. You know, I have my flaws and my blind spots. You know, every one of us does. None of us is perfect. But if we can, if we can just trust that the roots, the sproutings that have started here tonight will turn into that plant, will turn into blossoming, will turn into fruit, and will turn into seeds. They talked this morning at meeting here about their joy that we're in this place. That whatever this place has done historically is now being replicated. The fact that back in the day, Quakers in Virginia took manumission, manumission legislation to the General Assembly in Virginia, the epicenter of the slave trade, mm -hmm. had not happened anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And they had a full, robust discussion in the, I'll say it because it's true, the goddamn General Assembly of Virginia, mm -hmm. that until that point profited and, and, and Steered slavery, the sla selling of humans and their, and their children's children's children forever. They took that discussion the first place in this country. And Pennsylvania and Ohio and Indiana was shamed. They said, well, they can discuss it in Virginia. It didn't pass. 
But it wasn't roundly defeated. It wasn't 100 to 1. It wasn't close enough to pass. But they then took it in Pennsylvania next, and then Ohio, and then Indiana, and it began. Children born of slaves are free. No more importing. Children born of slaves are free at birth. And once that discussion happened here, in this city, in our government, it happened elsewhere. We have lots of things to do, and we need to recognize. We need to recognize that it doesn't all have to happen tonight. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Alan. Um, saw a couple of hands go up during uh, Alan speaking. All right. I'm going to ask everybody to breathe. Good. Yeah. Okay. And um, unless there are any objections, which you can do some of these, um, I'm going to ask Graham to restate his proposal after hearing from the body. Um. <laughs> so before I do that, um, before I do that, because I was the person who brought up the proposal. Um, Chris, it actually has been consensus that you've been asked to leave this General Assembly, so I'm going to have, well, the General Assembly is going to have to ask you. For, the tonight. For, for, for tonight, just only tonight, but given that there was a threat of violence earlier, the General Assembly has consensus to ask you to leave. For tonight. Uh, okay, just a point of clarification. Who, who said that there was a threat of violence? It's, it, it's been decided. So you, we can we can talk about it at another point, but yeah, the general assembly has has come together and asked as a general assembly that you leave tonight. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Chris. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Consensed upon. Um, uh, okay. Because the temperature of our general assembly has gone down. And okay. Okay. So so just to reiterate. For tonight. Reiterate. Okay. And we can talk about it later. A non-threat of violence. Require that that nobody established even happened mm -hmm. requires removal, but an actual physical assault on multiple occasions. There's no action from the committee, so there's no action from the general assembly. Okay, just so just want to make we, make that sure. Not, and just, not saying that just things. I want to get. Perfectly. I want to get this. I want to get this on camera. Nobody's leaving. I want to get this on camera. This is this is about uh, um, people saying that. You know, false rumors again about this threats of violence. There were there were no threats of violence uh, um, that were given. Actually, the discussion I had with William Carino, he has actually threatened violence Mike against Chris. Chris. Mike Mike Chris. Chris Dorsey. Chris Dorsey. Dorsey. You've been asked to leave. You've been asked to leave. Violence stops. Thank you, sis. All right. Stop done. Stop done. Right. 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 I don't know. I mean, I think you guys just kind of in this environment. Uh, uh, <laughs> So this is just affirming. We make this. Don't really mean this. This is. You know. guys should be ashamed. Shame on you all. Shame on you especially because because we are hard. This is going to be public. We need to get into that. Please, please. I'll leave you. I feel like I came back to pick up Teddy and I came back to pick up Jason. That's it. You need to go downstairs. Okay. It'll be an okay. Well, not feel sleep, but when you touch, I was thinking. Never sure as me is. Yeah. I'm done. I hope you feel good about it, baby, because you know you wanted to cry. But, Chris, uh, you sit back and laugh. Chris, you've been asked to leave. I know I've been asked to leave, and I'll, I'll leave when I'm ready to leave. No, the really? GA has asked you to leave. Yes. You yes. need to leave. Right, but I don't need to do anything that you tell me to do. I'll leave when I decide to leave, and I'm Second waiting on good. the person I'm giving a ride home from. Totally. That's it. Well, guess yeah. now. Um, well, guess now. Chris, would you mind waiting outside for Teddy? Um, yeah, you guys are absolutely ridiculous. You guys didn't do anything when you saw actual violence, and then there wasn't even a threat of violence, and you do this stuff. You guys are a joke. 
you guys are really a bunch of jokers. That's and and this will be publicized. It, it's, it's, it's not fair when people are getting, like, I see you, Jeremy. So leave. We all want you to leave. Yes. Please. Yes. We can talk I, about this later. It's Chris, it's just we're home. It's we just can talk about this Chris, later. Chris, every time you say leave, I'm waiting till you're done talking. I'm waiting till there's silence. I'm waiting for my per the person that I'm going to give a ride home. And that's really ridiculous, man. Possibly silent. This is happening. And we got so much evidence. I hate to do it, but I'm going to let them I mean, know it's hard. What's going on right here? There's a lot of racism going on here. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. You, know, you laugh. It's not funny. It's if you game. did everybody the same way, I wouldn't have a problem with it. You're not being fair. He's sitting over there laughing. He knows it. But one day he'll get you to read it. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I didn't even hear him say it. But they know right from wrong. They aren't children talking about they representing the people. Watch how I turn this organization down. Watch when the truth, the truth shall prevail. And when you want to be racist, or discriminate against your own people. So what? Tyler, where are you from? Um, no, you can't. Mic check. Mic check. Uh, we have a point of process. We have a point of process. Um, I would like everyone to bring it back in. I would like everyone to bring it back in. Bad news. Don't wait at me. I'm waiting, Jason. Don't wait in my direction. <laughs> wait, sorry. Uh, mic check. Mic check. check. We're going to continue to use mic check. We're going to continue to use mic check. Because it's effective. Because it's effective. Because it's effective. We have a point of process. We have a point of process. And I'd like to hear it. And I'd like to hear it. Just calling to order. Calling to order. Calling to order. All right. We're back. We're back, folks. Um, Give yourself a couple pats on the back. This, it, this, this is it easy. Um, we come to GA to hear everyone's voice. It's a challenging thing sometimes. Um, all right. We did hear every word, and I did not shut the door on them. So there you go. Um, thank you. I'm, personally, if I can interject my opinion, even as moderator, I'm proud of everyone in this room for being here still and handling. Uh, such things uh, calmly and uh, with great amounts of patience. Um, like to, we have a hand raised. Is it a. Can I, can I just please make a statement? In light of what that is. Any objections to hearing a statement? Is that a process? <coughs> From Will. Okay. Oh, sorry. We have an objection. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, an objection. It is out of process to make a statement. I suppose. Um, There's a point of process? No, I'm sorry. That was opinion again. I apologize. Um, <laughs> we, we have to, to not hear your statement. Uh, okay. <coughs> is this a question or a point of information? Point of process. <coughs> point of process. I think at this point everyone's pretty much ready to go home. I guess I'm just speaking for myself, but I think that maybe in the spirit of this, I just feel like all my hairs are on end, and maybe we should make a. I would like a temp check from the from the group to officially NGA to bring it to smaller groups since we're already about those numbers anyway, and think about ways we can deal with this. So next. Have 
Okay, um, sounds. I, I'm, I'm not sure I understand why that was a point of process. It sounds like a motion. Um, I feel I would feel very bad as a moderator respecting that after turning down Will. Um, I would personally, and, I, and if there's, I'd like to see how the body feels about bringing it back to Graham's proposal very quickly to vote yay or nay, um, and then. Uh, with, and then I, I, I would like to see if the body would motion to adjourn this General Assembly. How are we feeling about that? Okay. Uh, Graham, could you restate um, your proposal with the language that you would like it to be voted on with? Okay. Um, it currently reads... If threats of violence or violence take place in an official or event and are brought to the GA's attention, or to the GA, the person who making the threat will be asked to leave the event immediately. Expires February 15th. Um, that's the language. What I would like to do, and in, in, like, this can just not pass. That is absolutely an option, and then we will probably adjourn and go home. So let's start out with that. Secondly, um, what I'd like to do is to keep it really simple, do a temp check to see if you would like to include the language that it will come to GA to take a vote to ask that person to leave immediately, because I know that that came up a couple of times. And I'm okay including that if that's supported by the body, which it seems like it may pass. So can we do a temp check for that language? Um, so if you're in favor of that, if you saw a lot of positives, um, that temp check was just happening. <laughs> Is there anyone opposed to that language being added to this proposal? None? Okay, so you'll be adding that language to your proposal. So it now reads, if threats of violence or violence take place in an official or an event and are brought to the attention of the GA. Um, or facilitation? Or? I guess facilitation can call for an immediate vote to ask that person to leave the event immediately. Facilitation can call for an immediate vote to ask that person to leave the event immediately. Uh, I guess shall is more, more accurate to what it really was. Um, I really, really think there's been enough discussion about this proposal. These are the last two clarifying questions, unless there's any objections to that. Okay, Rich and then Harry. Will the vote be subject to clarifying questions? I'll say. I think I know what you're trying to say, Matt. Yes. All right. What he is asking is, as will the vote out of this nature, or for future reference, have uh, the same subject of process, clarifying questions, etc.? Am I getting that correct? Interesting. <clears throat> okay. That is his question. Um, so I guess. Yeah. It would be an immediate, the, the question is really in terms of the language of the, of the proposal, facilitation shall ask for an immediate vote or facilitation shall ask for an immediate proposal to ask the person to leave the event immediately. I think that's, yeah. is that the, that's the difference, the question, right? Okay. I'm also willing to call for a temp check to see if people would prefer to re replace the word vote with proposal in this proposal. Okay. The Sorry. Okay. I, um, one size enough. Uh, earlier, uh, the scribe Sorry. asked me, the moderator, Jeremy asked me if he could step down to say something about this. Although it sounds like you that's never don't mind. I'm sorry. It's just... Yes. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, there's a point of information. 
this is opinion. Can I just say it, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm j I just want to point out that if we, you see how we talk on regular proposals that aren't even all that heated. Uh, we spoke for, I think, half an hour on whether or not to endorse a peace institute. <laughs> imagine, imagine what would happen if we turned a motion to expel someone into a discussion. It wouldn't be like this, but worse. It would last for hours. I don't, I, I, I can, I identify with the... <laughs> Jerry, we'd like with, to give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> motion, motion to hug accepted, but later. But I identify very much with, with what you guys are trying to say, that you want this to be fair, but we're not a court system. I don't think we can practically deal with this sort of thing if we put it up for discussion. We need to take a vote, and then we need to be able to support that vote to get people out the door. It shouldn't turn into a fight. Thank you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I want to acknowledge the healing that occurred with the laughter and yeah. <laughs> momentary informalness. Add that to the proposal. I love that. Uh, please, please. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to be the one here that'd like to bring it back to business. Um, I'd like to hear the last clarifying question and move to a vote. As the proposer has stated, that they are okay with this not passing tonight. <laughs> Last clarifying question. I would like to ask, lastly, if this is going to be done for purposes of giving them the opportunity to, oh, as a group, hear what was said or intimidated, uh, that that be added uh, so that uh, everyone is in on it. Because currently, if I were in a situation or a vote like this, I would end up voting no because I wouldn't know what was going on. Uh, Graham, is there something you can take from that um, clarifying amendment? Sure. I, so, I, sometimes I'm really confused as to why some things have to be so hard, especially when we have things like expiration dates and threshing sessions that will solve these things. But that said, I'm more than happy to ask if people to take a temp check to see if we want to add language to this proposal that says, if, if a threat of violence or violence takes place in an official or event and, an order, and is brought to the GA, facilitation um, for call, can call, shall call for an immediate vote to ask that person to leave the event immediately after hearing what occurred. Um, that, and we can temp check that. And if you think it's shitty, just vote against it. Um, is, is this a? This is a serious concern with that. Um, we have to remember. I'm sorry, but we have to remember that. If somebody feels very threatened or an act of violence happens, the victim may not always be comfortable expressing that to a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, so. I'm sorry. I believe we have a temp check for that reason. I can do Mayday. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think that um, in favor of victims' rights, where perhaps, um, again, Moderation, can, mo the moderator or a friend can speak with them and relay it to the group, but asking the victim to do that could be potentially damaging. Um, not in all cases, but there is that potential. I retract um, my suggestion. Sure, I mean, also th that language didn't say that anybody in particular had to explain yeah, what happened. Just, I, so yeah. I just, I guess I just was a, a bit confused um, because I really understand that concern and it's important and I believe that that's why we keep a Tim check on the facilitation team to hear from the voices that are feeling uh, that way. So the voices that I'm hearing right now, Isaac, is that you on a couple occasions said that this was the, this was as far as we were going to go. You Tim check said the Tim check was that that would be the limit, and we've extended it several times. So I would suggest this temp check. It moved to vote. All right. Um, all right. We have two options here. 
which is moving to a vote or hearing the two clarifying questions in the back. Um, I have been trying to close clarifying questions be, for two reasons. Um, because we've been discussing this for a long time and people are tired. And two, because the proposer is okay with this not passing tonight. Um, are there any objections to moving to a vote now? All right. Um, I would like to ask the body and specifically describe if the proposal needs to be restated before we formally vote on this. Okay. Um, scribe says good, and I didn't say, all right. So, all in favor of Grant's proposal, do your little dance in the air with your fingers. And all opposed? We have two opposed. I don't know. I just think my Okay, we have one opposed. Um, so, so that passes. Given that we have a point of process. I would just like to point out that Bentley still hasn't been able to make her proposal. <laughs> just about to get that. Um, we have a point of information. He didn't ask for stand aside, that's an FYI. Ask for stand asides? Uh, sorry, uh, Rich is right. I didn't ask for stand asides, um, which is important, uh, very important. Are, are there any stand asides on that last proposal? There's two. Sorry, um, I haven't moderated since Canal Plaza. <laughs> I don't think. Um, anyways, um, so there was one dissenting, two stand asides. That proposal did pass um, because there will be a threshing session and a, somebody working on this and an expiration. I would recommend to the dissenting voice and to all people interested in this that they work on this uh, language with the proposer uh, for a step for strengthening this idea um, for the future. Um, we have two options here, which is to go back into formal proposals. I don't, I don't uh, just like, just yeah, I don't, I was about to say, it. please. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not coming out with all of this information very quickly or clearly. I was gonna say, we don't have the proposers here. Um, we have. Move to adjourn. Uh, second. Second. Roger. <laughs> We can move to adjourn, um, except it's good. I was just going to say that we have one proposer here who's raising his hand and would probably like to <laughs> formally propose it. I, I know what the proposal is, and I think it'll be very quick. Um, uh, are, does anyone ob object to hearing this proposal before we close? It has nothing to do with what we've been talking about in the last two hours. <laughs> Yay!